The Grand Theft Auto voice actors Sean Fontaine, Stephen Ogg, and Ned Luke actually had a conference call talking about Grand Theft Auto 6 and what they would likely have to see in GTA 6 if that was the case. We're going to be diving into all that today in this video today, going over the voice actors saying what they want to see in Grand Theft Auto 6 and their opinions on if they were featured in GTA 6, what kind of part would they take part in, would, what would they do, or you know, what would their main task be. We're going to be diving into all that today in this video. So if you guys enjoy videos like this on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos like this. So here it is right now. Here's the conference clip. It basically has Sean Fontano, Stephen Ogg, and Ned Luke basically talking about what would be like if they wanted to be in Grand Theft Auto 6. What would they want to have if they were featured in the game? And just kind of talking about some unreleased story content that we did not know about and some of the props that we were likely not able to see. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff we're going to be looking at today, which is fantastic. And as I go over, as we go over the video, I'll be stopping the video to show you guys and talk about everything and that we know so far about what they currently want. For Grand Theft Auto 6 and all the unreleased behind the scenes, even story-driven content that was supposed to be released but hasn't been officially yet. So we're going to be going over all that today right now. <laughs> and, and by the way, you were asking about GTA 6. That's the story of GTA 6. Big butts. Big, Big butts? Just, yeah. Okay, just oh, didn't up. you say something about that, Ned, with the trailer? Because it's yeah, it's a place in Miami, correct? Yes, big butts, big lots of big yes, asses, a lot of big trailer. bums. Not mm. once. And, Ned, and Ned always talking about big asses like it's a <laughs> sin or it's bad. I'm gonna tell you what I've been told, Listen. man. People that oh, don't like it. big butts, hey, people that don't like big butts are working with us. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Well, you go. And this is what have a broken separates pinky. the whites <laughs> and the blacks, kids. <Yeah. laughs> Sean, you used to bring, you remember, there were certain. Uh, oh, my God. Right? Do you remember this? Like, there would be certain that uh, we'd remember. Oh, oh, okay. So, you um, bring yeah, big, so... those big butt, the big butt mags. GTA 5 amazing story in your opinion where would you want to see the story go on for gta 6 we've we've got the trailer we saw the trailer but where did you, where do you personally want it from where your story was to, uh, to go on for gta 6 where do you think that it would go if you guys continued on to gta 6 if we continue on yeah if you're if your actual story if the gta 5 story continue let's say gta gta 5.5 5, or something like that we'd be uh, we'd be, we'd be handing out we'd be handing out jobs to the big stars of that game that's what we'd be <laughs> jesus christ uh, okay okay uh, solo steven is, is i that... always thought which initially so in that first part, I feel like Ned Luke is not going to stop talking about how big the butts are in Grand Theft Auto 6. I don't know a lot of you guys know that, but the GTA 6 butts are huge. They're massive. Like, they're even bigger than any other Grand Theft Auto game that I've ever seen. And Ned Luke kind of calls out on this to say what happens if he was in GTA 6, he would just kind of compliment how big the butts are, which they are tremendously huge. Like, I'm not going to lie. We've seen screenshots. We've seen the trailer of Lucia. We've seen different girls standing on the car cars in the trailer just seeing how big you know how massive their butts are so that is one of the thing that ned luke probably is not going to drop in his research because just how big they are he always compliments on them which i kind of find pretty funny now they go also talk about kind of under uh, behind the scenes stuff about the story driven content they talk about what they want to see in gta 6 and what it would be like if they were in charge of the miami style basically trevor franklin and michael are gonna let them know what they want to what they want to do in GTA 6 if they had the chance to actually be featured in it. I think I think this has actually happened. Was I thought it would be cool to have each character have a game. So oh, you know, there's like a Michael game, and then there's a Franklin game, and then there's a Trevor game. I thought that would be cool. Follow their worlds. That's that. Three Absolutely. different discs. Technically, in the game, we do like play as each of you, but that would be cool. Like their own, own DLC. Their that, own thing. that would have been that would have been actually really cool. That's sort of like what we did the, uh, that was the original yeah. plan, I think. And then, yeah, right? and then so online took off. Online took off, and it was just like, uh, oh, man, we got to run with this. 
but story mode DLC that would be that would be my wish as well. I think that would be that would be a really cool thing. Like you know, like they did in GTA Four, they had Ballad of Gay Tony and and uh, Lost in the Damned, you know, and those were the same universe but story from a different a different angle, you know, different a different point of view or whatever. But yeah, originally they were gonna do the continuing stories of Michael solo and i mean michael franklin and trevor so but and, and we also had that really cool shit of there was and i forget if it was dlc i have no idea but where trevor was gonna be like a undercover he start he works for the feds and we and we did shoot some of that stuff with like james bond trevor he's still kind of a fuck up but he's doing his best to pretend to be like and it was and we shot uh, some stuff and then it just disappeared and never did it and they never followed up on it but i thought that would be cool like he gets hired yeah, they, went, by uh, they went to gta online i believe for that stuff. yeah but yeah. that would have been fun again like a, sort of follow a different journey you know like all right so i want to know i want to know a question <laughs> this question right out of the whole entire storyline of gta 5 what was the <laughs> craziest part for you in, in either your characters uh your characters um standpoint or o story overall what was like the craziest part for you we what could was the craziest part for you steve um i don't know about craziest i i think uh the the most certainly the funnest one of the most interesting one which we discussed and maybe i just use this as a standard answer now is the one that was cut out there was one that we did Oh, the whole Sharmuda one? Or yeah. Yeah. That one was, I think, one of the funnest. Um... So wouldn't that be cool if Rockstar Games did something like that where they did behind-the-scenes stuff for Grand Theft Auto 6? I really do miss the single-player story mode expansions in-game. I hope we get more of those for Grand Theft Auto 6, as Red Dead Redemption 2 was supposed to even get one, but they did not get one because it was discontinued. As Arthur Morgan basically confirmed, as voice actor Roger Clark confirmed, that we weren't going to be getting it. But it's kind of interesting just to see what they are exactly what they want in Miami, and it would be so cool to to see Michael, Franklin, and Trevor back in GTA 6 with Lucia and Jason. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. But other than that, that's kind of what they want to do in Grand Theft Auto 6. And another thing is more on the storyline of what the props were for Grand Theft Auto 5. As you guys can see, Stephen Ogg had like these nasty shoes that three years ago he wore and they were really stinking. <laughs> it's pretty funny. They said, go sell it on eBay. And then they also had Trevor Phillips Industries um, unreleased hat that we never Ever got to see behind the scenes so there's some really cool things they talk about i'll leave a link in the description to that video if you guys are interested in that but that clip was pretty cool take a listen to this right now you know there was a lot of that but that you know you guys all see what the crazy stuff is in the in the game because you play the game and you see it and you go oh man that's nuts you know and and you see that stuff you know it's the stuff that you don't see that's really great and, and what's nuts is we had that behind the scenes camera going the whole time and they never did anything with it uh, get out of here. Yeah. No, could have made an entire. I think at one point, didn't we discuss like how cool to make the making of? Like, to just yeah, yeah, it so it that at this it point, you oh could have God. a documentary on the making of, of GTA. I thought that's all it is. Ooh, oh, baby. yeah, oh, the stanky uh, shoes. Those do they still stink? Look at that, those fuckers Dude. still stink. These were the, the no. GTA shoes. Oh my goodness, that is what's Those awesome. are the actual mocap shoes that Steven wore for three and a half years. Never changed shoes, never. I mean, they got to be just nasty, man. They're probably <laughs> petrified now. Are they petrified? They actually have mold on them. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look what else is in the bag, kids. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm... <laughs> what is that? That's right. Oh, Trevor Filler Enterprises. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, with, look, with Mr. Uh, Raspberry with Jam. Mr. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Uh, what's he called? Raspberry Jam, yeah. Should that I sell is. those? I think you could probably get a... I think you should put that's those on eBay, fashion. auction them on eBay, and give the, give the money to charity. 
But anyway, guys, that is all the information I got for you guys on this video today. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. For more daily awesome videos, such as Rockstar Games videos, all the upcoming GTA 6 and GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 content that I'll be doing on my channel, subscribe for more of those. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Everything we talked about today, talking about behind the scenes with the voice actors, saying that there's going to be story mode driven content for GTA 6, saying what they want to do in Miami. If they were featured, I think it still would be cool. But unfortunately, that's not the case. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below everything we discussed and everything that was discussed in the video clip with steven Ogg, uh sean fontaine or ned luke let me know what you're thinking down there like i said guys stay happy healthy and well and i'll see you guys all later on the next video